you in I need to fill you in on something that happened yesterday night because it was too it was okay let me just tell you what happened so yesterday night right I <clears throat> told my sisters that I was gonna make them some soup because you know it's getting a little bit chilly over here and I was like why not just try to make a soup try a new recipe right so it's about let's see it's about like 8 30 p.m. and I'm in the kitchen making my soup right I'm making the soup for the girls um my little sister is here visiting us as well so I have two of my sisters here um so they had went out to get tacos because one thing about them they gonna get their street tacos and I get a call from my sister and she's like we met a guy and he wants to invite us to a birthday party I'm like, what? Um, okay. She's like, can you, are you, can you go, can you come right now? Or can you be ready in five minutes? I'm like, I just started cutting the sausage. I haven't even chopped the onion, you know? Like it's not, I was in my pajamas. I just, it was crazy. But then she, they were like, we're downstairs with the guy that they met. Um, and so then I quickly changed and went downstairs to meet them and turned out being a really nice guy. And his name is Lorenzo, shout out Lorenzo. And basically we go with him to this birthday party and we get there and it's just, we walk in and I can't even, I can't even explain the type of energy that was in the room yesterday, but it was good. Like the vibes were on 150, okay? Every single person that we talked to was so kind and so intentional. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can understand what I'm saying, but sometimes when you talk to people, it seems like it seems like they have one foot in your conversation but one foot outside. I don't know, but everybody yesterday was so intentional, was so um, interested in actually talking to us, actually getting to know us just such good energy and everybody was so creative and talented too like after five minutes of talking to people there i felt so inspired and it was just a really good group and i'm just really glad that we're getting plugged in to community and that it happened that they met at a taco stand and then you know we end up meeting all these people and having a really fun night so i hope to keep you all updated with um how things progress and develop with making new friendships and relationships meeting new people going to places so but that that happened last night and that was such a good experience um but now this morning it's a new and beautiful day and i figured that i would vlog take you guys along there's not really much happening today better like um there are a few things so first, Yemi and I are going to have our Spanish lesson this morning. And our teacher actually comes here to our apartment, which is really sweet. I mean, sometimes we go to him and sometimes he comes to us. But today he's coming here. And so we're gonna have a Spanish lesson. And then um, uh, somebody actually reached out to me to collaborate on my faith channel. So that's really exciting. And I have a meeting with her today as well. 
and then honestly it's it's open-ended might go for a walk might try out a new cafe i don't know but i figured i would take you guys along but um i also want to show you guys my room because it is coming together slightly and i know i said i was going to do an apartment tour and i still i still think i will but i also want to show you my room because i'm really happy with how it's coming together so let me show you guys so upon walking in um we have my bed i had to go back to california and bring my bedding uh bring my bedding back with me um because i definitely did not want to buy that again um it's really it's really simple i'm bare to the bones right now i have some fake plants hanging here and then if you watched my last vlog um you saw that we went to what was it called um mercado medellin and i got this plant and then um so this desk was on this wall but i had to move it in order to make space for the mirror and everything um so i just have my desk and it came with some hooks that i can hang my tote bags and some pictures and then i think the most exciting part of the room for me is this corner over here so um it has this like slight indentation in the wall and i was gonna put my mirror in this corner but then um yemi and i like our apartment came furnished right so we had this couch in the living room and it's kind of tore up and so yemi was like it's not really suitable like it's even worse under here Ooh, let me cover that right back up um yemi was like i don't want us to keep this in the living room but we can like um split it apart into two pieces and um i decided to put one piece in my room and it fits so perfectly in this corner so i was like i love that and now i can like have a little reading nook um and then she has the other half in her room and then um this mirror if you guys also watched my last vlog you saw that we went to a vendor at um near parque mexico uh, parque mexico and we ordered these custom mirrors that they made for us which i think really adds to the space it makes light bounce off the walls um and i really appreciate that so i think i will try to add more decor like a decorative pillow to add more pops of color and i had some flowers in this vase i want to frame this picture but aside from that i'm really liking it and my closet i'm really liking too i just put my winter cut uh winter stuff on the side more summery stuff dresses on this side have some drawers um storage down there my books jewelry and yeah i just want to keep it you know really nice clean and neat and yeah that's basically it i am really enjoying the space it just gives fresh it gives light um simple so and i also really love the lighting that we get in here so um god is good god is good can't complain that's basically all i wanted to share with you guys right now i will try to see if i can film some during our spanish lesson so you can hear your girls making some progress with the espanol okay but um yeah i'll talk to you guys a little bit later lol y'all okay today did not go as planned at all shortly after i greeted y'all in the morning yemi texted me and was like hey girl can you text our spanish teacher and tell and try to reschedule for tomorrow i'm not feeling the best so didn't have spanish today um and didn't really do a whole lot outside at least like i was editing um my last vlog that went up so yeah i mean it was a it was an at-home day but you know what we're gonna try again tomorrow we're gonna try again tomorrow and now it's about 6 30 p.m and i figured that i might as well try and make this soup that i had to stop so abruptly yesterday so i figured we can have a little cooking moment you know and i'll introduce you guys to a recipe that sounds really delicious i don't know i don't know i mean like how can you go wrong sausage potato and spinach soup i just feel like like that looks buzz down buzz down Bussiana. i'm just kidding um so it says it should be ready in 30 minutes or less i have all the ingredients here and you know sausage here is a little different like they don't have the um italian sausage or maybe they do and i just didn't see it and so i got 
it said this was turkey sausage. I mean, I really hope it is. It's quite red, but uh, I have no doubt that it will still taste really nice. So let me set you guys up and let's cook some soup. water they're cleaning it because if you don't know you're not necessarily supposed to be you're not necessarily supposed to be uh, drinking the tap water here so people just say avoid eating fruits and vegetables outside um, and that's what gave me food poisoning when I first got here so we're actually let me show you guys we're actually supposed to be doing like something like this you soak your fruit in a solution for like 30 minutes and then you can eat it once it's done but right now for this spinach i just don't really feel like doing that and i'm putting it in a soup you know what i'm saying so what i'm hoping is that my quick rinse and then the heat from the soup will kill any bacteria that there is and that will be okay but yeah that's one thing that's definitely an adjustment you can't just quickly rinse your fruits and vegetables and eat them you have to soak them um, in order to make sure that you're killing off any bacteria that might be on them okay. as I feel like it would have been if it was heavy cream, but it does look pretty similar to the picture, I will say, kind of, kind of. If I had a little uh, slice of bread on the side, perfect. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do a taste test and then serve it out for my sisters and see how they feel about it. Okay, I got a bite with spinach, potato, and sausage in there. I mean, I personally would have loved it to be a little creamier, which I feel like we missed out on because I didn't have the heavy cream. Pero like, it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. It's giving, it's giving Italian. I think it's coming, like it comes in with the, uh, you know, I think that's what the oregano kind of added, but it's still pretty good. I think I will try to make this recipe again with the correct ingredients next time because I do feel like you can't go wrong with a soup like this, you know? So maybe try it, let me know how it goes for you. And let me get these into bowls and see what the girls are saying. Okay, I just finished plating them up and now I'm going to hand deliver to each of my sisters and demand that they give me an honest feedback, opinion, review of what they think. Mm. That was hot, huh? Mm -mm. Mm. The potato could be cooked more. But the flavors are good. The potato can be cooked more. See? Okay. You see that? Ew, no. It's hard. It's a hard potato, you see? Ew. Okay, but the flavors are okay? The flavors are great. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And you say 
Are you take? Thank you. Are you taking? Well done, the chef. Uh, no, but the potatoes could be cooked. Oh, I thought you were taking it away to cook the potatoes more. What? When well, no, you're crazy, bro? Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. You see what I have to go through? What I have to deal with? Okay. Next, going to Yummy. Let's see what she has to say. Hey, girl. What's this? Just a little something, something for dinner. It's hot. It's hot. I'm so hungry. Excellent. Thank you. I need an honest opinion of your first bite. Actually, what is this? Okay, so what we have here is a turkey potato spinach soup. Chicken broth base with a little bit of cream in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't do too much. Smells good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Please. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. One news. So then the fullness comes uh. in. You know when like you don't get hit with all the flavors, right? Uh huh. Like right one. Uh huh. That third layer of flavor, because you get the coconut cream. Oh, you taste the coconut cream. You taste the cream like immediately. Oh, okay. And you get the second layer, and then the third, you get that chipotle. Yeah, I mean, there's no chipotle in kind there. Of sausage situation. Did you put sausage in there? It's turkey. What did you put in there? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Okay, now she got the potato and the spinach. It's a well done, chef. Well done. Period. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to know how much I finesse the soup in the kitchen. I was like, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. No measuring spoons, no nothing. I was hacking at the onions. It's kind of like a dumpling. Dumpling soup? Mm -hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, um, it's already, what time is it, Yemi? Like, you should be done with work and we're supposed to be watching a movie and eating dinner together. And... <laughs> work won't end. It won't end. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm so tired. Okay, anyway. Um, all right, y'all. I guess I'm going to serve myself a bowl and eat some dinner. Um, I would highly recommend this recipe. We got a thumbs up from both sisters. Wanu, 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 Wanu. That's what I'm saying. Like, and I, I will pick back up tomorrow morning when we'll actually do all the things. Okay? Have a good night. Bye. You guys just missed it, but there's uh, like this, there's like this really loud screeching sound that happens, and I'm like, what is that? And Yemi told me that it's actually a sweet potato vendor, like a tamale vendor, but they do sweet potatoes. And so she ran down and found him at the corner and they do plantains and sweet potato as well. So she was so gracious and got this for us to try. Let's see what's going on here. Did you guys hear that? I got the sound. I got it. That's it, and it's it's like 10 p.m. Just that screeching sound for sweet potatoes tonight. I don't know. I don't know. Días, amigas y amigos. Es un nuevo día. Este mañana me siento un poco cansada, pero I'm going to push through. Y ahora mis amigos, no, mis hermanas y yo vamos a caminar y correr al parque y vamos a caminar tres millas three miles we're gonna try so 
that's what we're doing this morning. I'm gonna push through, I'm tired. But we gotta get, we gotta get this, these gains, you know? Gotta get these gains. Here they come. What's that? What's that? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Hello? I'm not talking to her. This girl is a bamboozler. How okay. am I a bamboozler? A bamboozler. Three miles done. So that first 10K steps. Great way to start off the morning. That first lap. Oh man, I'm tired though. I'm really tired. Congrats. Good job. Okay. Stop dancing like that right now. ¿Qué hiciste esta semana? Sí. Esta semana yo viajé uh -huh. a California. Sí. Para la Día de Gracias. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería el día, perdón. Oh. El día de... Para el día... Y, y en español es un poco más largo, decimos el día de acción... El día de acción de gracias. Ok, porque es como la acción de cosas. Ajá, exacto. Ok, uh, ya, yeah. viajé a California para el día de acción de gracias sí. y yo pasé tiempo con mi familia y mis amigas uh -huh. nosotros comimos mucha cocina mucha comida mucha comida, comida uh -huh. sí y veímos uh -huh. vimos 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 y vimos uh -huh. vimos algunas películas vimos algunas películas okay sí. ellos or um, so okay to order is pedir right uh -huh. pedieron pidieron pidieron uh -huh. um, algunas cocinas no algunas pateas platillos 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 muy bien sí algunas uh -huh. platillos pero nosotros no co comimos comemos sí muy bien no okay. la otra pregunta de todo dice a qué lugares tuviste que ir esta semana sí este es esta semana tuve que Ajá. ir a la tienda de target uh -huh. y el banco y el aeropuerto okay. y mi casa ok y que okay. ¿Qué compraste en Target? Compré muchas cosas. Okay. Compré... Um, compré... Like... I want to say... Lotion and body wash. Y'all heard me with that Spanish, huh? I know. She bilingual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Honestly... After our lessons once a week, I just feel like I take the notes and I don't use it. And so I need to do a better job of using what we learn in the classes, but I do feel myself getting better with each week. So that's nice. Um, and we have a really great Spanish teacher. So we just finished um, our lesson not too long ago. And honestly, I'm kind of dragging with this day, you know? It's a little overcast, so it's giving cozy vibes, and I just want to take a nap. 
but there are things to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make myself a matcha latte and some food actually, and then we're gonna get on with the day because too many things to do. So one thing that's happening this week, uh, no, one thing that's happening today is I told you guys that my sisters met a guy named Lorenzo at the taco truck, right? And he's the one that invited us to the birthday party. Well, Lorenzo, he's well connected here and he told us about an event happening today at a co-working space called Hob. So it's in, a, it's in like two, three hours and I wanna go, but you know, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. So I'm gonna take you guys along and show you the co-working space. I've, I've heard it's really nice, but I also have heard that you have to pay for access and y'all know my situation. So can't be doing that right now. But I also think the bottom floor is free, like just a cafe space. So apparently it's six floors too and really nice. So yeah, I'll show you guys and hopefully the tacos are free, please. Come on with the free tacos, please let them be free. I'm just kidding, um, but yeah, we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back here and I need to prep a video for my Faith channel. Um, I'm doing my first collab, did I tell you guys? My first collab with um, Asia, she reached out and wanted to um, work together on a video idea as we wrap up this year. So I'm really excited, have to work on that today. And then, um, yeah, there's other events that Lorenzo had sent happening tonight but it's like going out events and i'm just not that person like i am the epitome of a grandma so i told my sisters i will not be in attendance i will not i'll be here in mi casa you know what i'm saying yeah okay let me get up and make this matcha and get to work this matcha latte mix from jade leaf and it's supposed to be this cafe styled sweetened blend um and it had a lot of good reviews i do like it the matcha taste but in regards to sweetness i definitely feel like i have to use two times the serving that they say on this and still add a little bit of sugar so maybe that's a personal problem that are like i don't know i was expecting i was expecting different but this is exactly what I needed right now. I'm also gonna make an egg sandwich and then we'll officially get to work. Cheers. Turn left. Mm -hmm. 
This is all open hot desk space that you can work from. So we have nomads, and then like I said, we have private offices. So my goal always is to show you. Then I'm just like, it is really. What is it? Is it? I still don't know. Oh, okay. You know all the artists here, but this is no one that I don't know actually. Very cool. Everything's for sale, by the way. Oh, oh wow. Just let you know, in case oh. you wanna grab a piece. That, okay, thank you. All right, y'all, we just got a tour of the Hob Project with Lorenzo himself. And he showed us around this really cool six floor co-working space in La Condesa, in La Mexico Condesa. City. So, in Amsterdam. Si, in Avenida Amsterdam. Si. So, if you're looking for a co-working space next time you're in the city, um, be sure to check this out and there's also a coffee shop on the first floor where you don't need to be a member to access it so yes. highly recommend it was super cute 100 <laughs> percent